let's go with that. Golgari midrange. Back in here. Because that's the deck to be playing, or at least if you're me. I haven't had lunch, so I'm going to have a protein bar. And we're going to mute the microphone between commentary so I don't chew in your ear. But for now, we have access to a Wild Growth Walker and a Merfolk Branch Walker. So that's while, while that's not terribly exciting, uh, and one of these has to come into play tapped, both of these have to come into play tapped, um, we are on the draw. So maybe that'll be enough to make it happen. Okay, bringing in the memorial to. F uh, I mean, that comes. Yeah, we're bringing in the guild gate. Because that gives us more color option. Then the memorial to folly next turn. We can ranger it. Opponent can counter something, but they don't have anything to burn. Unless they're playing um, Is It and they just don't have their red yet. Probably Merfolk, though. In my experience, in my experience, Merfolk doesn't have a heck of a lot of removal, and usually dies to finality. Which thankfully we have in hand. I would gladly trade here, because once my opponent goes wide, we're in trouble. Cash down is definitely important. And that's why. I think it's actually more prudent to um, finality here. I get card advantage. I don't really see enough reason not to have done that just then. Yeah, I think we're definitely up. Tempest Caller. Alright, we cast it down. Can't let the opponent go too wide. Swing in. We kind of want the Midnight Reaper back. Maybe I'll find that back at the end of the opponent's turn.
It must be really intimidating for the opponent right now, seeing I have five cards in hand. But we'll should sir we'll, we will surely and certainly see. Opponent's gonna have to make a choice at some point. Okay, blink of an eye, putting it back to my hand. All right, in that case, I find back the um, branch walker. I'm okay with that. We're not in a bad spot. One in the face. Okay, there's Carney T. Uh, so the right choice, I'm pretty sure, is just play the Carnage Tyrant. When Carney T hits the field, everybody gets real sad. Except me, I'm not real sad. Because <laughs> he's on my side. We might get scoops here. I don't think the opponent can keep up. Deep Root Elite. Fine Shaper Mystic. Okay. I don't think they can get to six, though. They can get to five, but I don't think they can get to six. Because three, four, five, six. Okay, so they can get to six. <clears throat> Alright, let's see how I want to do this. Pretty sure I have to contempt this one so they stop getting bigger. And that's all. Hopefully I draw more fuel. If I could draw another... Um, if I could draw a ranger... Man, opponent just went real wide here. With deep root waters, maybe they can keep up. Alright, thankfully I did... Ooh, pardon me. Thankfully I did draw more fuel. Uh, we're going to bring in a forest here. We're going to play the walker. We're going to play a uh, merfolk branch walker here. More land, that's fine. Another merfolk branch walker. Seeger Squire, yes, sir. All right. Um, I'm just going to leave my stuff block, ability to block, because my opponent can, with the deep root waters, as long as they keep drawing Merfolk, they can kind of overrun me here, and I want to be very careful with that. So we're going to play the Seeger Squire, see what we have next on top. Ravenous Chupacabra, good choice. Um, I can come in tapped. Not really sure where things go from there. All right, block you. Block you. Block you. There's got to be a combat trick in hand, otherwise I don't think they'd do this. But let's see what it is. No combat tricks. Just losing, I guess. Okay, no combat tricks. We just lose. I, am, I imagine there would totally have been a combat trick there. But nothing. I couldn't figure out what it might have been, but... That's okay, let's jump right back in. Pardon me. Okay. Um, Ranger, Ranger, Branch Walker. Okay, starting mana. Yep, this is pretty good. We keep it.
Okay, my opponent seems to be having an adventurous impulse. Ooh, Nullhide Ferox. Okay, so now we know what we're up against. Nullhide Ferox has uh, a Hexproof, I think. Yep, Hexproof. I can get rid of Hexproof pretty, pretty easily from it, but still, it does have Hexproof. Uh, let's bring in the Woodland Cemetery and the Branch Walker. See if we can find something nice on top. Find Finality seems pretty okay. It stays. Alright, so I'm just kind of uh, going to have to race my opponent here. Race my opponent to the higher mana stages. Um, yeah, let's bring in this so we get Jade Light Ranger. We have on top. Doom Whisperer seems good. Uh, I'm going to swing in here. My opponent, I really want them to block the Druid of the Cowl. Because the faster they get to four mana, which is going to be this turn, obviously. Hey, look, it's four mana. No, not bringing in the Nullhide Ferox. Oh, are they going for Carney T? The Thorn Lieutenant. Okay. Um, I mean, I have a finality here that I could use basically at any time, but I'm not going to use it now. I'm going to bring in the Ranger. We're going to see what we get on top. It's another land. Ooh, Viv. Nice. Uh, we're going to swing in with both. I don't care if either of these die. That's perfectly fine with me. Primary goal being to clear out my opponent's board state. Untamed Kavu might be a little scary, um, but I can just contempt it. Like that. Swing for six. I mean, this is a race, after all. Anytime I can get rid of... And my opponent says, good game. Okay, so that seems to me to have been the right choice. Yeah. And then I... If, I mean, if I need to, I can finality, but I, I don't think I'll need to. Opponent can bring in the Nullhide Ferox anytime they want, but they don't seem to want to do that. Okay. All right. Well, let's um. There's a ranger. I think I'm gonna finality here. Well, then I can't find bummer. I'm gonna bring in Viv. I'm gonna see what Viv can get me. What balance comes? Merfolk Branchwalker seems good. Fuel for the uh, fuel for the fire. I'm at 20 life. I'm gonna be at more soon. I'm going to sneak in some damage here. My opponent can kill Viv next turn. I'm okay with that. <clears throat> Steel Leaf Champion. Me, not Viv. Okay. Alright, we're going to see what I get off the top. You can't stop. Nature. Overgrown Tomb, I think we don't pay the life. It comes in tapped. Um, Wild Growth Walker here. <clears throat> Norfolk Branch Walker. Braska Golgari Queen can stay. Um, I am going to find... I'm going to find back my um, two creatures that I have in there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to see what my opponent can do with that. My, if my opponent can remove Wild Growth Walker, I'm in a pretty bad position, but I, I don't think they will be able to. We're going to see. We're going to have to see.
Gonna see where that goes. <clears throat> Gonna see how far that goes. But it's thinking real hard. Okay. Oh, opponent's viv today. Let's tear this place I've seen things that would break someone like you. Now, the viv is not going to Whoa, okay, that's a Galta. Yikes. Uh scary biscuits. Um Oh, okay. Now we have some choices. I'm going to my opponent says good game for me no or for my like I do. Oh, Chupac no, I'm gonna bring in the forest, and the reason I'm gonna bring in the forest is so I can play Braska. Braska gets rid of this creature. Okay, now we play the Jade Light Ranger. And I think that should be enough to win me the game. I hope. Just the way it's on the way my opponent blocked. I think I win. I hope. Opponent's untapped. I don't think they can do anything. Or the opponent is tapped. Yes! We did it! We are slowly but surely climbing the ranks here. Alright, what do we got on the card? We have... Imperial Ceratops. Nice. Alright, we're jumping in. Okay. Carney T in starting hand as well as Wild Growth Walker, Merfolk, Branch Walker. Uh, nice. We're going to play the Golgari Guild Gate and we're going to keep this hand, obviously. This is, uh, this is quite good. Could be everything we need. We're gonna see against what we're up against. It looks like we're up against something, something convoke. Okay. Okay, Amara, Soul of the Accord. I will want to get rid of that as soon as I possibly can. Uh, so we're going to see if the opponent takes the bait on the swing. Ooh, another Wild Growth Walker. That could stay up top. I don't really need to draw that, but I'll take it. <clears throat> It'll give me something to work for between uh, helping, hoping to get Carney T. Convoke gets a bit insane, because you just tap all your creatures and bring out some crazy stuff real fast. There's a Thorn Lieutenant. Interesting. Hmm. I might be relying on Find Finality here. Oh, I'm so going to block you. Oh my gosh, thank you for the opportunity. Any day of the week, I'll block you. I'm tempted to find back the branch walker now by itself. In fact, I will. Just by itself, find back the branch walker. Because next turn, that gives me another six life. That might not have been the best play. It certainly wasn't the best value, but man. And if I draw more fuel on top, for example, a ranger, we're in really good shape here. See what my opponent wants to do here. I anticipate a no swing. Yep, no swing. Okay. Another uh, wood, wood uh, woodland cemetery. Going to bring in this. See what we get on top of the deck. Yep. 
and that's not terribly exciting. Next turn we can play Carney T though. Uh, opponent saving a settle the wreckage maybe. Four mana open. Didn't swing last turn. Didn't cast anything last turn. <clears throat> the more turns they have that settle the wreckage and don't cast it is, is more uh, more gain for me. So I'm perfectly okay with that. We can play around settle the wreckage all day. It is my favorite thing to play around. March of the Multitudes. Okay. Ooh. A Johnny, Adversary of Tyrants. That's kind of crazy. Nice. Alright, let's see what we can do here. I think I have plenty of recursion. I'm not in the worst position here. Conclave Tribunal. Okay. I think that's okay. All right, let's bring in the forest so we can play Cardi T. No attacks. Cardi T is going to be just a bit tricky to get rid of. I don't think they could run anything they could deal with hexproof. Okay, if I let a Johnny go ultimate though, we're in deep trouble. So I kind of can't do that. Alright, so we're going to bring in Viv, and hopefully Viv, Viv brings in something that can help me here. Every fight makes me stronger. Oh, uh, I guess I could bring my other thing back, but I don't really feel like that at the moment. I would need fuel first. The wilds are my shield. Doom Whisperer, I think, is more important here. Um, I think everything has to go to a Johnny here. This kills the Carnage Tyrant, but I do have a Doom Whisperer in hand that my opponent uh, can see. Alright, we just kill a Johnny. Opponent should be able to do sports one. Opponent should be able to do quite a bit of damage next turn. Oh, it's another Johnny, really? You should be proud to have come so far. Wow. All right, is Viv dying? I kind of hope so. I think I lose this one. That's all swing to my face. Yikes. Alright, which means they didn't want to keep their Ajani alive. Alright, let's bring this in tap. Let's see what I have here from Viv. Come to me. Branch Walker's fine. Bringing in the Elves and the um, Doom Whisperer. Have to kill Johnny. They left him wide open. Now, I might lose this upcoming turn, but I don't think that's a guarantee. Definitely have to block the Thorn Lieutenant, and it's not going to be with the Doom Whisperer. They're not swinging. Okay, probably a good choice. Uh, Viv's going to bring back my other dude. Draw and, fire. and this is so I can get more life. 
from these two Merfolk branch walkers I have in hand. I don't feel like I'm in the worst position here. I'm clearly not in the best position, but pretty okay with what we have. Yeah, I'll take a Viv off the top. Back up, Viv, you know. I can swing six in the air here. Safely. I don't think I'm in any real danger now that I've gained all that life. Yeah, I should be in pretty okay position at the current time. Finality would almost certainly win me the game by itself, but... Alright, backup Viv is nice. I'll play a Ranger. Gain even more life. I think that gains me 12 life, that puts me up to 38. I don't really know that my opponent can outpace that. My opponent's almost certainly got to settle the wreckage uh, in hand, and if they want to use it, they're going to have to use it to kill my single Doom, uh, doom Whisperer. Because... Uh, I'm not falling for the whole swing with everything, settle the wreckage plan. That's just not not how I roll. That's a concession. We did it. It was a bit tight. We, we uh, weren't necessarily going to win that. It was a bit tight. <laughs>